everybody welcome back to my channel it's Rachel it has been a long time um, and for all those who have sent me messages thank you so much I know I've been MIA um, life has just been a little crazy for 2021 it started with a lot of stuff in January which you guys can go back and look at my old videos uh, the pandemic got a little crazy which has gotten better and then we recently took a spring break trip with my family um, for about 10 days to Utah. It was the first time I'd left the state in a year and um, it was nice. So now I'm back to it. I have a couple months worth of boxes. So hopefully we'll get lots of videos. Plus I have those other planned videos that I've talked about for ages that I want to get to. But I thought we'd start with a good fun one. This is the FabFitFun box for spring of 2021. This is both my custom and uncustomized uh, boxes and I got these sometime when I was on vacation. So let's dive into them and see. So first thing first I notice uh, the boxes are different sizes. The one on the bottom I believe is my customized and the one on the top which is smaller is my uncustomized. I like to do these so that I can see in comparison, is it worth it to buy an uncustomized one, which is usually about $10 cheaper than the customized. Now, a lot of you guys say, why bother? Get a second account, use the discount, and then you can fully customize it, and that is very true. But I think a lot of us who like subscription boxes like the mystery of it, and so this is more fun to see if you were just to get a box and that was uncustomized, how well would they do and was it worth your money? So let's dive into my customized box. Um, I'll be honest, I don't remember what I picked. This was right before my vacation um, and lots of stuff was happening and so I did not get around to remembering what I picked. So this is gonna be a surprise. Um, I don't have a lot of expectations with this box, unfortunately. So they have recently changed up in the last couple of seasons to this more environmentally friendly box. I don't know how I feel about it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Um, and then they have some stuff in here. So they have a code for anyone who wants $15 off. First one to get that code gets it. They put in some stickers. So it says it's time for your bloom. And then they have our box here, which I'll try to go over some of the products. Um, they don't really have anyone on the front of the, the, the pamphlet this time, which is interesting. Usually they do, but then they have all the stuff in here, okay? So let's roll into it. Gosh, there's more stuff. There's a HelloFresh thing and then the Nourish. All right, everything's kind of haphazardly thrown in here. Um, usually it's packed a little bit nicer, but let's let's get into the first first category. So uh, if you guys are new to FabFitFun, which I feel like this has been around for so long, most of you guys are probably not, but FabFitFun is a quarterly subscription box. I do pay for everything out of my own pocket. This is all my own money. Um, and basically you can do a year long subscription where you pick a lot of your box or if you want to do it quarterly, um, you don't get to pick as much. There is a discount for paying for everything up front in a year and you get some other benefits. Um, so I do do a year long subscription. So let's do category one, which is all members. You could have a printed duffel bag. There was a moisturizer or there was a LED indoor planter. All these looked very intriguing. I picked the duffel bag. And I forget why I picked the duffel bag. I think because I realized on our trips that I needed some more bags for the kids and stuff. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. This is the Elise and Olivia duffel bag. It's really cute. But it, honestly, I could use this more like a purse. This is not what I was expecting for a duffel bag size. Let's open this up. I like it though. Don't get me wrong, I think it's cute. It does have that little thing there. But anyway, this is what the duffel bag, it does have the big handles here. Um, and they're nylon handles. So let's see what the inside looks like. I may use this to replace my work bag because my work bag is kind of getting worn out. And then it has like a little zipper bag in here. It's not bad. It's definitely small for a duffel bag. Like, it's a little tiny duffel bag. It could be used as a purse. It's cute. And this is $150. That's a lot for that bag. I mean, it's a cute bag. Get, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's worth that. The uh, Paracone MD Moisturizer is $98. The LED Planter is $60, plus they give you the seeds. You could get a uh, watch, which looks really pretty here. Uh, for $105, you could get a water tray with cutout handles. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this thing. This little basket weave thing. Um, for $45, a Tech Candy UV Sanitizer. If you guys have ever watched my old review videos 
on sales. I talk about these. I don't know how great I feel about these UV things. That's You can get them a lot cheaper, but it's 60 bucks on there. Or a Milk Makeup Brightening Face Serum. This, those are nice, but this category is huge. And it has such a price variation from $150 down to $40. They have the Cow Pack Packing Cubes. I have these, these are nice. And then a three set of, or the Shoshana Umbrella, which is also very nice. But again, $40 for that. All right, let's talk about the next category, which again, all members could pick. It's the 2B. Um, so let's see if I can find out what I got. Cause I, uh, Gaia Ultimate Core Toning Kit. I got this and it's very interesting. I don't usually uh, gravitate towards a, a workout equipment, but we did recently get a Peloton uh, and some other exercise stuff and I've actually been trying to be good. So I thought this would be good for some of the uh, Peloton work, the floor work, because we we have both the bike and the, you know, obviously the app that comes with it. So this can be used for it. And then it comes with, it looks like a ball here that you have to blow up. It feels okay. They say that this is $50. It looks like most everything in this category is about 60, 50 to 60 bucks. Comes with a little tube. It's like a shiny looking ball. I'm not gonna blow this up right now for you guys, but anyway, it looks like a little core bar. So that's that. I thought that would be nice um, to use. Hopefully I won't lose that straw. So that is what I got from there. The other thing you could get is the MAC Cosmetics um, Lip Kiss Duo. Okay, so category three, you could get the Verso Eye Skin Care, which I have that, it's okay. You could get the uh, Alicia and Olivia Reversible Bucket, which matches the really cute bag. So they match. And I thought this would be cute because, you know, going on summer stuff, obviously my hair is not in the right thing. Oh, that's nice and big. You can have a big head and this will fit. I like bucket hats, but you can reverse it and it can become just a plain white hat if you don't want, you know, the really bright thing. That's really cute. Um, I figured if I didn't use it, my kids would use it, but it's always nice to have a little bucket hat. If you guys don't have one, these are great for summertime. Um, so that's, that's that. That's really cute. Okay, so the bucket hat is $80, $85. My goodness, that's way overpriced. You could get this ring, which they said is $75, or you could get coasters, which are like these little woven coasters for $35. They also had a hair mask. These categories are huge. That's what I remember. Okay, let's move on to the annual members. This is when you can pick if you're an annual member. And so you could get a makeup organizer, which I thought about it briefly and decided against it. Um, a, a Hava facial cleanser, uh, a mud cleansing bar by Erna Lazlo, which I have, it's good. The Lark and Ivy's hair scarf bundle, um, which I don't see on here. Oh, here, that looks really pretty, actually. Um, and then you could get the Grown Alchemist Body Cream and Mandarin. That, that's really good. Elemis Papaya Enzyme Pill is a really good peel. I've had it in the past, it's one of my favorite, but I already have one as a backup. Um, and the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face, uh, Body, and Dry Oil, which I've heard good things about. Oh no, so that's in 5B. So then the last thing, what did I get here? I don't know what I got. What did I get in here? Oh, I got the hair scarves. See, I told you guys, I don't remember what I got on here at all. All right. I remember thinking like there was some really good stuff in this category or just in general in this, um, this thing, but there were so many categories and I had so many of the items because there were a lot of redos. Okay, so they show you how to rock your scarves and, oh, these are really nice actually. They're just little silk scarves and you can wrap them in your hair. You can put them around your neck. Here's a cute little pink one. That one's really adorable. Um, so basically you can do, uh, I, I kind of wanted them more for my head, although I have a big head and you can tie them up like this. I've been using hair scarves a lot because uh, when I don't wear a scrub cap at work for my N95s, I like to have something to keep all my little hairs from just falling down in my face. Anyway, that's really cute. 
And that is that. So that's the item I got. You can tell I kind of got more clothing items this time, which is very unusual for me. So the hair scars were $30. They were kind of middle range for that uh, category. Okay, so the next category, you could have gotten a pure cosmetic, uh, that's like body glow. You could have gotten a tie-dye market tote, which is really cool, but honestly, I don't use stuff like that. I have things like that that I don't use. Coco floss, which, I have, love, love, love Coco Floss. Um, the Summer and Rose Tweezers Plus Pouch, which is right here, which again, not a bad thing. Or the H. Halston Infused Gel Line Sock and Pumice Stone. And I think I needed a pumice stone, so that's why I got this one. Who doesn't need some good pumice stone and socks going on? So there's your pumice stone. These are heavy duty feeling. They're like gel lined inside. These are actually pretty phenomenal filling. So these are gonna be really, really nice. I actually don't have anything quite like this. I can't, like, I wish you guys could see on the camera how nice and thick and heavy these are. Anyway, these are $40. This is actually, I think, the most expensive thing in there. The rest are 20 to $30. They smell, they smell kind of interesting though. <laughs> All right, next uh, category is the ones they pick for us. So let's talk about those categories and then show you what they picked for me. So they have, uh, you can have some Each Jewels Flower Hair Clips. Those remind me very much of the 90s. You can have the Humankind uh, Hand Scrub. Oh, that sounds amazing, and Elderberry and Raspberry. You could have the Earth Harbor Marine Biome Brightening Ampule, which their stuff is very, very nice. That is $38. You could have the uh, Sun Out Pout Out Lip Masks. Um, I have, okay, look with lip masks. You have the Pink Sky Cactus Sipper Cup. I don't, I guess it's a little cup. That looks very cheesy and plasticky. That, that's, yeah. Um, if you guys can't see, it's right there. The Cali Cosmetics Body Wash, which I'm all good for getting body washes. The SAI Reusable Beauty Round 3 Pack which are these little things here. And then you have the Nails Ink a Nail Polish in Mare Fair Lane right there in a pretty color. Okay, so I got three things. I don't know how many picks that they were supposed to give you, but I got the Sun Out Pout Out. So this is worth, how much is this? This is $16, I'm okay with that. We've got the uh, Biome Brightening Ampule, which again, like I said, I'm okay with this. I've just got so much skincare. I've got to give a bunch of it away so it, it doesn't expire before it gets used, but that's what it looks like. Um, and this is, has oils, it's brightening, and it's supposed to be radiant. It's a lot of, it's basically an oil, a bunch of oils, so that should be nice. This is um, $38. Oh, it looks like there's three categories. So you could get either the hair clips, the hand scrub or the ampule, so I got the ampule. You could either get the pout mist, the cactus cup, or the body wash, so I got the pout lip, or you could get the beauty rounds or the nail polish. This is the nail polish. It's just a very muted pink. I mean, it's pretty, I'll use it, but yeah, that's it. So that box is pretty good. I was happy with it, um, not complaining. Definitely, um, the only thing that was a little off is I thought that this was a little bit smaller, but that's not a bad thing. I will definitely use it, but it was smaller than I was anticipating. But overall, I thought that was a fantastic box. I was very happy with it for the price. So let's get into my uncustomized one. I'm not gonna spend as much time on this one because we just went through everything with it. But as you can see, it is a much smaller box um, and they picked everything for me. So again, here's a code for anyone who wants $15 off. Here is our little thing. Um, and so I'll just keep it open so I can see what category I got. And we'll see if we have any repeats. I already see one repeat, which is okay because that repeat item I will probably give away as a gift later on. So in our first category, let's see what we got. Okay, so first category, something completely different I would have never picked. But I'm okay with it because it is one of the nicer items here. This is the Munro's Classic Watch in Sunburst Soul Rose. And I haven't been wearing watches recently, so maybe if I like this one, I'll start wearing it again. 
Oh, that is actually really pretty. I don't know if it's $105 worth, but that is what the watch looks like. It's just kind of a gray pattern with the um, rose gold. It's probably a little bit bigger than I tend to gravitate towards for a watch, but that is a pretty watch. So I'm okay with that. That's $105. So that was the first category. The second category is, let's see. Oh, again, I'm not totally upset about this, although I don't necessarily need it. It's the day planner. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. It has stickers in it, that's kind of cool actually. I love planners and I love stationery and I have way too much of it. Um, but I feel like you can never have too much of it, I guess. So anyway, it came with these little pencils. That is really cool and then little stickers. I've been doing a day planner called Silk and Sonder, which I've talked about in a video I've never posted up yet. Uh, maybe I'll get around to posting that. Oh, this is great. This is a planner that basically doesn't have the dates on there. And so it just, you can fill out however you want. Actually, this is really, really nice. Um, it's not very fancy, but it just is nice and simple with the stickers and the pins. So I can definitely, definitely appreciate that this is nice. This is $45. All right, next, next one here. We're gonna get into the third category. And let's see what we got for the third category. I think, Okay, so third category is something I'll probably give away because I already have one of these. This is the Averso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. Oop, as I throw it, I already have this. It's an okay brand um, and it's okay product. This is $65. Again, like I said, I have a lot of this and I already have this particular one, so not the most exciting thing. I would have probably wanted to get something else in that category, but that's okay. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay. Next category, so we're getting into the ones that if I could pick it and I was an annual member, I would get it. And the first category is the four, um, and I got the, I believe this is the correct thing here, the Grown Alchemist Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. I'm okay with this, and actually I've been using a lot more body lotion recently, so this may not be a bad thing. Of course, you can't smell it. If you guys have never seen uh, Body Alchemist, their stuff has a very medicinal looking quality. They use very simple like uh, metal packaging and then they have where you basically have to pierce it open until you're ready. So I think it's really fun. Um, I really do like their products. I've used them a lot and it's expensive, so it's nice to get them. This is $26. All right, next is the 5B category. Let's see what we got in the 5B category. And I got the same one. This is my one repeat item in this entire thing when I'm looking through it, and I'm okay with this. I will probably give this away as a Christmas or birthday gift because these are so nice. This is the pumice stone with the gel infused socks. Um, like I said, I am not unhappy about getting this as a repeat because this is a fantastic thing to give away as a uh, repeat gift uh, for someone. And so this is, like I said, uh, $40. All right, next is going into the any picks for me. So the first category I got is the hair clips. They're not as cheesy as I thought they were gonna be. Um, I will probably give them to my daughter though. They're definitely not my style. I think if I were a little younger, I would probably pull them off. They're a little bit big for my, for my taste. Not quite as 90s as I was thinking, but my daughter will look absolutely adorable with these. So I am gonna give her them. They almost have like a mother of pearl sheen to them. Um, it says keep them away from anyone under age 12, but I'm gonna give them to my eight-year-old daughter. So anyway, I got the hair clips. The next thing I got were the uh, roundies, which I'm okay with. This is funny, they call them tampons. I think that's just a interesting term for them, but these are basically, oh, these are nicer than I thought. These are beauty rounds. What are these? This is the, the wipe and reusable cotton rounds. So yeah, you wipe off your ma makeup. These are very fun, they're squishy. Definitely different than the other ones I have. So I do like these. These feel higher quality than I was expecting. Okay guys, this is the second to last category, but I thought I would open this up because I made such fun of this earlier. This is the cactus cup that I was like, what is, what, like, what is this and why do they have this as a category? And 
it looks equally as cheesy. I will give this totally to my daughter. This, this looks like something you'd buy at a theme park. It's just so cheesy. I mean, it is, it's, it's cheesy, but whatever. My daughter will love it. My kids will use it. Um, let's open it up. Yeah, it's basically, it's a straw cup. I will definitely give this to my daughter. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I, I guess some people might really love this. I just think it's just kind of cheesy. Um, it doesn't screw on very well. But anyway, that is funny. Uh, hilarious and amusing. But I am glad that they gave it to me. I would have preferred the bath gel, but I will give this to my daughter. It is, it's funny. It's just funny. It's funny. All right, guys, that's it. That is my entire box. I am not unhappy with my second box. I definitely like my first box better. Um, just because it's things that I generally would have picked, but I think that overall it's a nice box and I'm not unhappy with either box. Uh, but yeah, this round definitely goes to my customized one, but I think they did much better this season than they did last season. I'm much happier with it. Um, and so yeah, well, that's it guys. Uh, this is hopefully not too long of a video. I'll be back later this week. I'm going to try to post this up for Sunday. Um, and then I've got, I, you guys can't even see it on here. I've got two FabFitFun sales worth of stuff I want to show you guys. I've got boxes for several months. And then if I get around to editing, I have a couple of videos from before that I taped up and never put on there. So I'm going to try to get all that up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, no specific timeline, but at least a video a week. If I can do more, I will try. But uh, I am back and I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, see you later. Bye.